You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2015. I'm John P. And I'm Derek Kessler. Exciting stuff, Derek. Yes, it is. So, by the way, you look so much better than me. You always look better than me. Oh, that's by design. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Speaking of people who look better than both of us, actually, we've yeah. got a special guest here. We've got Diana here from Pioneer. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for that, too. We <laughs> needed you here to bring the whole level of good lookingness up. <laughs> so You're thank you so much. Yeah, oh, you, I'm yeah, you so that. happy to help. Yeah, you do, yeah. <laughs> so we, we always love having Pioneer come on the show because you guys bring uh, special goodies to show off yes. and every year, it gets better and better. So you've got a magical little box over here, it looks like, uh, and uh, some kind of goodies to show off. So yes. what do we got this year? It is magical. <laughs> it's um, an aftermarket car stereo made by Pioneer. It's one of our new Next line, which um, will be available in March. And it's both Apple CarPlay compatible as well as Android Auto compatible, right within the same unit. Wow, wow. Yes. okay, that's good. We're really excited to show this off. The booth has been so busy the entire four days of the show. I'll bet. Yeah. So what can you show us about it? So some people are not even familiar with the previous versions. Um, so let's talk about the platform sure. a little bit. Now first of all, this is like a double DIN unit that you could use to replace the crappy one you have in your car, even if you have an okay one. Replace it and upgrade it, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you have in your car, That's right? That's exactly right. Uh, we find that a lot of uh, consumers may have an older vehicle, maybe like 10, 15 year old car, but they tend to have the latest smartphone, yeah. right? They won't sacrifice that. So we want to make sure that people can use our technology right in their vehicle that they own. There are some OEMs that are doing you know, CarPlay and Android Auto, but this gives the, the customer really the luxury of keeping their vehicle. Yeah. Right. And this will cost me a lot less than a new car. I yeah. Think so. yeah. I think so. I hope it will. <laughs> yeah, I think yes, so. It does. It does. So do you want to do you want a quick demo? Yes, Absolutely. please show us. Do you want to work that? I can do that. Okay. Okay, so if you own an iPhone, we're going to show you Apple CarPlay right now. Okay. So you need a compatible car stereo. You need a compatible phone, an iPhone 5 or newer, so a lightning device, and um, a USB to lightning cable. This is an automotive grade one that Pioneer makes, but you can use the one that comes with the phone also. And if you have iOS 7.1 or newer, it's actually already running on the phone itself. There's no app icon though, you can't access it on the phone itself. So many people haven't even seen CarPlay while they have it on their phone. Huh, interesting. Yep. You just so plug it in and go. Just plug in and go. So it starts on the phone here, and then it'll pop up right up on the car stereo. And there you go. It's I've literally never seen that before. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Actually. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That yeah, is a lot very of cool. people, are, uh, even tech savvy people, are you know kind of shocked by this. And now this, okay. this locks the phone at the same time, doesn't it? It doesn't lock it, oh, but you just okay. you, you can put it away. You, you won't need, need to it. interact with it. Correct. So this is access. Did you just basically turn? Did you just basically turn that thing into into an iPhone? I mean, is that yeah, like kind of sorta? Yeah. Okay. I'll, right. I'll let it sink in for okay, a minute. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So um, here's all some of the content that Apple thought was pertinent while driving. Right, so uh -huh. not every app is compatible, and you're not you won't be able to access everything. I can't play Angry Birds. Correct. Okay. Correct. You, you probably shouldn't. Play Angry Birds <laughs> well, I probably would, but yeah. Yeah, I you probably yeah. would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so th these are the the main uh, content that they're bringing into the vehicle, but you also have some third party audio apps that they're working with. Okay. Um, and so the if you have those music services, you can uh, sync your services and then have access right there on the phone. But it uses Siri because both companies, both Pioneer and Apple, believe that if you're going to interact with your phone, the safest way to do that is by voice. And so they've already have this great resource in Siri. So we kind of tapped into that. Um, you can make calls Hang by on, voice. before you move on, yeah. uh, because if we're retrofitting this into a car, um, uh, uh, does that mean that it comes with a microphone that gets installed somewhere centrally in the car? That's exactly right, yeah. Okay. It comes with a, a microphone, but you can also tap into, your installer can tap into this factory speaker, and the, I'm sorry, the factory microphone, so as if well the, if as your steering car wheel has controls. It. Oh. If your car has it. Okay. Yeah, so that makes it even safer. Steering wheel, wheel controls, you mean like if I had a car that had a volume up and down and channel changing steering wheel controls for the factory stereo, 
we could still use those for this particular yep. thing? Yep. Wow. That's crazy. It's very cool. Okay. It's okay. very cool. Um, so this has access to it's a really important information. You can make a, a phone call by voice, and you can also um, access all of the playlists and songs that are on your phone right now. It's stored. fast. Yeah. It's really responsive, super responsive. Um, but you can use Siri to call up a song. I wanted to show you Apple Maps. This is a really familiar interface, uh -huh. right? Um, but what they've done is really cool here. If you hit the destination list, these are all POIs that I've been searching recently. Yeah. Um, when, when I'm not connected, right, to the car stereo. Yeah. But this is actually an address that was text messaged to me. Oh, cool. So it's recognizing it as an address, pulling it into this list, so I don't have to dig through my phone for it. I don't have to copy and paste. I can simply access it. It's brought to me, really. Very cool. That yeah, and it does that from emails as well, and okay. also calendar events. Right, so it's predicting where I want to go. So if you're at home and you look, you look up uh, a location on like Google Maps, and you're like, oh, that's where I want to go. You email it to yourself. It's going to show up in here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, if you you've looked it up, it, if you've looked it up in Apple Maps, it'll already be in the. That's right. If system anyway. Apple Maps. Yeah, but you don't have Apple Maps on your MacBook. Yes, do you? you do. It's built into OS uh, Is it 10 really? 9. Yeah. <laughs> Come I on, am John. such a Googler. <laughs> I, I I use a Mac, but I didn't even know that. I didn't even know there was Apple Maps in my Mac. I didn't there even know is. it. Yeah. I just Google Map. I yeah. don't know. Anyway, okay, I got go something ahead. for you later too. Okay, yeah, all right. right? All okay, right. <laughs> okay. So that's um, Apple Maps. But we can also search by destination. So let's see if it's um, quiet enough to to listen to Siri here. Where would you like to go? Find some coffee. I found a lot of coffee. Oh my God! That's so wow. awesome. So helpful, right? Siri is the best. Um, so you go ahead and you know select Starbucks because it's the nearest. Let's yeah. see. Oh, I think I might have selected a different one. The but we'll funny go to thing India. is, we can see Starbucks right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this will set a route right there by pressing Start. It'll, you'll have turn-by-turn -turn route guidance. So that's very, very pretty cool. impressive. Yeah. yeah. And text messaging in the same way. We know it's pretty dangerous to do that while driving, and but we know people are doing it. So using Siri, it's 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 a lot safer. Can I show you that real quick? Yes. Absolutely. And also, people are already. Si Catherine. Okay, what do you want to say to Catherine? Let's grab dinner. Your message to Catherine says, let's grab dinner. Ready to send it? Yeah, send it. So I'm driving along and composing a text by voice, and it's really, it's really a, a safer way to do it. That I, is cool. And make the most out of your time while you're in the vehicle. And now it's pulling all of this just from the phone. It's not That's like right. older systems where it had to sync everything over nope. and you had you're all your contacts stored. Connected on there. by cable. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's really useful. Okay, but I so don't Catherine, have an iPhone. Okay, I have gonna, an Android yes, phone. Yes, I'm going to show you that. Here's Catherine's response real quick. Oh, she already responded. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine's been sitting waiting for this. Oh, message. I see. She wants to know we're going for dinner. Sounds great. What, what time? time? Right. Very neat. Like and then I can reply or not. No thanks. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so by the way, oh, I was going to say, people are already in the uh, the the chat room are all like, okay, shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and, now, and see Derek this? is Derek is scared about how much it's going to cost for him to retrofit this into his car right about now. I think, aren't you? Uh, we're going to find out. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut we're a hole in my car. Okay. We're going to put this in there. <laughs> so now the same exact model, the AVIC 8100 Next, um, can also do Android Auto. Okay. So a very similar idea, right, bringing content from your phone into your vehicle in an in a easier-to-use interface. Um, but now this is on the Android side, the Google side. So um, we'll do one quick smartphone change here. We're going to select other. And you'll notice now, you know, our source has kind of changed. Let's close out of that. But yeah, that's the sort of thing that you, most people only do once because they aren't walking around with two phones anyway. Yeah, yeah. But We're the weirdos with two phones. Right, yeah, exactly. But if your husband has one and your wife has another, you, yeah, know, yeah. you can toggle in between both, right? Okay, okay so same idea here. There you go. Android Auto on the phone. Android Auto populates real quickly there on screen. Does my phone have that? Okay, so for Android Auto, you have to be running operating system 5.0 or newer, so oh, Lollipop. Okay, okay. And the devices, um, we, we're getting sort of that information finalized, but, yeah. but as long as your device has is able to update to 5.0. Yeah, like one of the Nexus or whatever. I've got a Note 4, but it doesn't have it yet, but I'm yeah. sure eventually Samsung will get there. So. Exactly. That's cool. cool. Okay, so this is the interface for looks, Android Auto. Looks a lot like Google now. Very similar, right? Yeah. So um, let me show you Maps using Google Maps, right? 
And at any point you can navigate in the same way I did on the other system. Make a call. Let's go ahead and call somebody. By voice, right? Call Vicki Miller. Super responsive. And nice. you get contact image there. We'll go ahead and hang up. I've been calling yeah. her all day. She's like, would you Leave stop me calling me? <laughs> Okay, um, and so we have access to music. Also, we're paying um, a third-party app called iHeartRadio, um, but you have access to all sorts of different ones. Let me show you here. Third-party apps that um, Google, Google music. is working with. Yep. I use that. Yep, so your entire playlist would be available that is there. That so Very cool. awesome. Yeah, and let me show you something really cool that um, Google has done with their voice uh, recognition capabilities. I'm going to ask for the San Diego Zoo. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask for the weather in San Diego. Okay. Then I'm going to ask for the hours of the zoo. But it's smart enough to know I'm still talking about San Diego. Right. So let's okay. see if that works for me. Um, weather in San Diego. Yes, I'm sorry. So thank you so much. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> What's the weather like in San Diego? It's 65 degrees and mostly cloudy in San Diego. Great. Beautiful right. day, right? What time does a zoo open? Here is San Diego Zoo Safari Park. That is really so it cool. So opens up maps, drops a pin on Google Maps, and then I can do, set her out there real quickly or give them a call if I wanted to figure out you know, yeah. more details. I say let's go to San Diego. It's only five <laughs> hours yeah. away, 65 degrees and sunny. Sounds fantastic. Let's, Sounds let's good. Go. OK, but before we go, uh, now that we've seen this, and I admit that is awesome, and I think everybody else thinks it's awesome. Oh, we're taking guesses. Harump says nine ninety nine. Jeep driver says seven hundred dollars. Let's do this. Harump like says right. Harump says plus two ninety nine for install. What's it going to cost us? Okay, so we have five models in the line. Okay, this is our flagship piece. I want the big one. It has everything. Yeah, it has you know, I mean. built-in navigation. It has our proprietary app radio mode, um, which is another way of getting apps in your car. It has everything, uh -huh. right? Well, mirror link compatibility, lots uh -huh. of stuff, right? These are all of our audio sources that you, so you can see. The flagship piece is a capacitive touchscreen as well. Uh -huh. It's fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred. Okay. Yep. The entry okay. level model does not have embedded navigation, and that starts at seven hundred. But it still but has the Android Auto and the uh, CarPlay. Okay, so five of the models are Apple CarPlay compatible. Okay. Three of the five do both, okay. Android and CarPlay. Okay. So if you had an iPhone or iOS device that you were going to use, and you didn't get the model that had built-in maps, you could still. You still are getting it through your phone that's anyway, right? right? So okay. you could get that for seven hundred bucks. That's right. We also have a current model that's available now called App Radio Four, and that's kind of really what started this platform of bringing apps into the vehicle. And that's available now, and that's um, I think between four hundred five hundred dollars. Okay, sweet. That's the, that's the least expensive way to get into Apple CarPlay. Got All right. It. Well, thank you so You're much so for bringing the toys. That was an awesome demo. Very we got cool. to see both ways. Yes. I've never seen either one I, of them. Before. I like that it's built. Both are built into one unit. Yeah. Very Google cool. and Apple together at yeah. last. Yay. Okay, guys, you saw it here first on uh, Geek Beat Live. And thanks for sticking around for all our coverage here at CES 2015. We will be back with a lot more, so don't go anywhere. I'm John P. I'm Derek Kessler. Hang in there. <laughs>